Good afternoon, and yeah, it's oh, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm just now picking up the camera. It has been a crazy, crazy day here. Um, I had back-to-back -back meetings, and then in between all of that, I received eight packages. Some of the stuff that I have to send out, and I have to say, Amazon Prime, you failed on this delivery. Not because it didn't receive, wasn't received on time, or anything like that. Here's the size of the box. Good see. This is what was in it. One pattern. One simple pattern. This is a padded envelope kind of package. Not a box. Absolute waste. Who did not apply common sense when they saw this and put it in a box? That's ridiculous. I mean, I know I pay Amazon Prime, you know, I pay Prime fee, but why are you wasting boxes and shipping costs. This is ridiculous. Really, come on. It's wafer thin, but it's wafer thin. Quick, what movies are from? So this is something for Amanda. And then um, Polly gave me another one of my um, Hanukkah presents. He's so funny. He gave it to me last night, actually. And he's like, can I give you another one? Because you can have it tomorrow. Check this out. Um, it's five sheets of black poster board. The boy knows me. I love that. Then he got a Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use these for Eli's imitations. How cool is that? These are huge. 14, 11 by 14. And nice weight. There's no texture on them, which is exactly... Oh, sorry. Focus. Whoa. Which is exactly what I needed. He also gave me a post-it note pad, too. Also from Dollar Tree. It was really cute. So I have to... Whoa. Trying to avoid an avalanche up there. Um, I was going to have to run over to the post office, but to be honest, there's no way that I can still pack everything up and make it to the post office. So I'm going to have to pack it today and print the labels and have them ready for tomorrow uh, to be picked up. Um, there were three eggs uh, so far. I actually need to go check, the, uh, check in on the girls. Yeah, three eggs so far, and I have to... Add them so I've been keeping track of them with the little dots it's not the most productive but at least I keep track of them this way so I have to add that oh my gosh I think I have one more meeting this afternoon um, I was going to make potato latkes for dinner I'm not sure we'll see I'm gonna have to play by ear we had sandwiches last night although they were delectable um, I love I like my new love. <laughs> I can't, can't say it. It's not quite that passionate. But I'm really enjoying the broccoli sprouts. So tasty, so crispy, so fresh. Oh my gosh, yummy. Paulie, not so much. That's why he had lettuce on his. I really like the sprouts. But I'm the one who ate an entire pound of tofu by myself. So there you go. Uh, what else is going on? What can I... Oh, I was going to talk about Hanukkah. So I'm going to... I think once I'm done with work, I will sit... Because I'm really catching up. Because I'm working right there. Um, I will sit down and I will talk about the meaning of Hanukkah. What... You know... How it came about. Why the lights. Why the menorah. Why the dreidel. The meaning of the gelt. Which is the uh, gold coins. Although they're available in silver now as well. Most people prefer the gold. I don't like gold, but I like the silver. Couldn't find them, but the bags that I bought are for the kids anyway. Because we don't really need the chocolate around here. So, and um, tonight there'll be two candles lit with the slave candle. Well, it's called the slave candle. Um, it's the one that you light the rest of the candles with. So anyway, I'll, I will talk about that uh, when I get to go light the menorah. I'll just bring you guys along and... I am by no means an expert on anything Jewish or Hanukkah, but I could tell you what I know, and I'll try to do a little fact-checking just on the off chance. I know it has to do with um, the, let's see, Maccabees, uh, one day's worth of light lasted, uh, oil lasted eight nights, uh, rededication of the temple, that's the crib notes were. <laughs> version. Um, and traditionally, the food that's usually served um, uh, uh, during the you know eight days of Hanukkah is 
oil related, mostly fried, because of the, you know, the oil lasting eight days instead of one. Which I think I posted yesterday, in, yesterday on Facebook um, when I posted a picture of, ooh, of our menorah. Um, and I say our, but just to clarify, um, I'm Jewish, my husband is Lutheran, and we celebrate pretty much everything. And that's the one thing, the one and only solitary thing we have never argued about is religion. Each one of us respects the other, and we've never... Like, we've argued about other things, like silly things and important things, but never about religion. Which is great, because if you can respect other people's perspective without having to force yours down their throat, more people would get along and the world would be a much happier place to live in. Anyway, oh, there's a b bunch of squirrels in the back here because the snow's all gone. Um, I'm running off on tangents because my brain's kind of going on 10,000 miles a minute. And that's what, I need to um, do some brain purge, like data dumps. <laughs> Clean up my brain. Scrub. Uh, brain scrub, that's what it is. So I'm going to run out to see the girls, see if there's any more eggs. There were three so far. Uh, three green and a blue. And I'm still waiting for the olive uh, green egg. Like it's a darker one. And then like the pale blue one. So those are the two that remaining uh, for today. I think I might bring them some apples. Um... I was debating about making some honey cakes this week, but again, um, it's been kind of a crazy schedule. It's not even a schedule, it's just things have come up, there's been things that need to be resolved for work, and with back-to-back -back meetings, I don't have quite as much flexibility, like to go pop something in the oven. I really do need to wait till after work, um, because I don't want to get distracted and be in a meeting and then suddenly smell something burning, that's like the worst thing. Because that burn smell is so hard to get out of your house. It's just nasty. So I take a sip of water. Mm. I have to refill my seltzer. Just to keep on track. My little water guide right there. Uh, Studio LT stamp. In uh, London Fog. Because I like the little bit. Oh, I have to pay the Sears card today. See? I like how they're kind of demure. And they don't really pop out at you. So just the stuff that I write pops out. That's why I like using the London Fog Gray. So, yeah, I'll be back at some point, probably after work, and I'll show you, maybe I should show you, while it's still light out, just how many boxes are all over the living room. It's kind of chaotic, like crazy chaotic. So this is the craziness. I have <laughs> a box of oranges for mom and dad. I have a box of wine. <laughs> There's also... Um, box that arrived of steaks that I already put in the fridge. Yeah, I had an avalanche, a pile of papers, just like totally gave up and bit the floor. Then I have an order from Blitzy that I need to do a video on. There's a snoring chihuahua, no, no Moses over there. Chihuahua's probably underneath the blanket over there. There's a cat on the floor over here. I can barely see her. Samantha. Samantha. It's like, whatever, leave me alone, I'm sleepy. So, yeah, I have to, and then I have Eli's present, stuff to bubble wrap, just craziness all over the living room. So, but the oranges are giant. Oh, yeah, off to see the chickens. Day two of Hanukkah, Festival of Lights. Yeah, lovely. It's potato pancake time, so I have three medium potatoes shredded, soaking in wa uh, cold water. I'm going to drain them and then put them in a paper towel and wring out all the extra moisture. Okay, clean kitchen towel. I'm going to roll it up like a sausage and then squeeze the bejesus out of it by twisting both ends like candies in opposite directions. I'll show you what it looks like when it's rolled up. Like this, but I have to do it off camera because I need both hands. So I'm going to twist one in one direction, one in the other, and hopefully all the extra moisture will just be left in there. And then I will transfer it to a bowl where I have a lightly whisked one egg, whole egg. Lightly beaten, beaten, beaten egg. And look, they look like snowflakes. Or they will once I fry them. So I'm going to add the potatoes, uh, black pepper, a little bit of salt, chopped onion, which I have 
and I chop a little bit of an onion and just a little bit of or of garlic, which I'm gonna microplane. Lots of fresh cracked black pepper. I've added some chopped onion and a tablespoon of this seasoning blend since we're not using salt. We still want things to be flavorful. I'm gonna mix it. As you can see, it's very, very dry. And that was the whole point of wringing out the potatoes. And I like mixing this with a fork instead of a spoon because I find that it gets better distribution, especially since I have tiny, <clears throat> excuse me, onion and uh, shaved garlic in there. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna fry this in coconut oil. I was originally going to use peanut because it has a nice high burn temperature, but uh, coconut oil it is because I also have a couple of burgers we're gonna have as the protein for the meal. So I'll show you what they look like in the pan. Hopefully sizzling. Well, it's not so much a potato pancake as it is really tasty hash browns. Because a rose by any other name, fried potatoes are fried potatoes. Oh, Polly's giving me a Hanukkah gift. <laughs> oh my God, look at my Hanukkah gift. How to, t how to tell if your cat's plotting to kill you? Because we always joke about the fact that Samantha can't stand me and she does everything in her power to make my days miserable. Oh my god, wait till you see the insides. Well that's dinner, a uh, burger, <laughs> home fries, which were potato latkes in another life. It just, I didn't put enough binder in. I had more potatoes and not enough egg, which is okay. Jalapenos and no salt ketchup. Hmm, yum. I'm gonna go take pictures and this one's Polly's and then I'll serve mine up. I'm packing up the last of the presents and the boxes are gonna be uh, put out in the morning. So that's going to be it for me for tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by and keeping company. I'm sorry I didn't do the whole story of Hanukkah. I'll have to put on my calendar for tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And I will see you all tomorrow. Look at a snoozing dog over there. What a life. How about a little Hanukkah bush? Christmas tree. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.